Hey y'all, welcome to Cajun Our New Barbecue. I'm Bones, glad you could join me today. If you found my new home, thank you. You see, every time somebody new tried to find my old channel name, YouTube would show them somebody who was much larger than me with a similar name, that channel. And YouTube just wouldn't play ball to fix that glitch. So, I tried fixing my name on the back end, didn't work, so then let me try fixing it on the front end and see if that works now to hopefully gain me some subscribers. We'll see if it works, hopefully. So on today's video, we're gonna do alligator sauce pecan, a nice warm dish on a cold day. So we're also gonna use Saints and Sinners signature rub, which is their all purpose rub. If you use my code Cajun15, it'll save you 15% off your order their link will be down below in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm not much of a fan of celery, so I cut it down to two. Recipe also calls for two bell peppers. Again, I'm only making a small batch, so cut it down to one. Recipe also calls for two onions. So, one onion. Then one jalapeno. Deseeded. Take the tops off. Starting off with a five quart Dutch oven right here. These are the Magnolite pots I was talking to y'all about on Mike's channel, The Dude's Kitchen and Grill. Very nice quality, nice aluminum pots. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a little bit of olive oil, bottom of the pan. It's turned all the way up to maximum, high heat. Let that get a little warm for a quick second. All right, I've got the alligator cut in the little pieces. Once the alligator's browned, go ahead and add the onions, the bell pepper, the celery, the jalapeno. Go ahead and mix that all up now. I'm gonna cook this now down until the onions are soft. The onions are now soft. Go ahead now and add in one and a half tablespoons of Saints and Center seasoning, or you can add in half a teaspoon of salt, pepper, and garlic. But that has all that in there, plus extra spices, so I highly recommend that. Half a teaspoon of dry basil. And then half a teaspoon of crushed red peppers, or a little less. Depends on your tolerance of it. Go ahead now and add in a six ounce can of tomato paste. A 
10 ounce can of Rotella. Mild, hot, doesn't matter. Just 10 ounce can of it. Go ahead and stir all that up now. And add in two cups of water. One, two. Stir that up. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Two tablespoons of sugar. Saw it on my little bucket over here. I almost forgot it. Cook now on medium for the next two and a half hours. So what I made was a small batch, seeing as there's only two people that I got to feed at my house, I don't have to make that big of a batch. But if you need to make a bigger batch, go ahead and make, cut up two bell peppers, two onions, several more stalks of celery, God forbid, not a real big fan of celery, but cut up some more celery. Then. Instead of two cups of water, put four to five cups of water in there. Same amount of meat, same amount of seasoning. And then go ahead with all that and let it steep for two hours on medium low and just let it roll. And then you'll end up with similar product. And it looks so good. There we go. Let's go ahead now and give this a try. All right, here we go. That gator just melts in your mouth. Seasoning's on point. It just sings. Right level of heat. That bell pepper and onion on point. Great Cajun dish. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share, subscribe, comment below. Thank you. Have a good day.